Welcome back to my channel, Sunday Supper with Shug. Um, today, not actually Sunday, today Friday, which brings me to what we're gonna cook today. We're gonna do some shrimp for boys. Um, this is, Mardi Gras season just passed. And um, Mardi Gras normally falls on a Tuesday and the Wednesday after Mardi Gras starts the Lenten season. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of seafood dishes. Um, this coming up uh, month. But today we're gonna do uh, shrimp poor boys. And we're not just gonna do shrimp poor boys, we're gonna make the French bread. Yeah, we're gonna make the French bread. I know that sound hard when I show you how easy it is. And anybody who know who loves a good poor boy know it's all about the bread. It's about the bread and it's about what you batter and fry your shrimps in. It's about the bread most importantly. So this is not, that's not to say Every time I want a poor boy, I make my braid. No, French braid is readily available to me, good French braid, but this is for my out of towners. I used to live out of town and know how hard it was to get a good French braid. So this is my out of towners when I show you how easy this is. Cause most times when you say you make a braid, you're like, ooh, braid, that's gonna take. It's really not hard, it's all about time. So on a day you gonna be inside chilling most of the day, ain't nothing like some fresh bread baking through your house, so I'm a little old school, I told y'all that. But it's about time. But um, today we gonna have us some little fresh po' boys, so I'll see y'all soon. All right, y'all, I'm back. Now to start, before we do anything, we gotta get this sheets ready. So what I have here is, um, we got, we got a cup of uh, warm water. Now this way it gets tricky, at the water gotta be warm. If the water is hot, you kill the yeast, cause yeast is active, so you want the water to be warm, and you want about a tablespoon of active dry yeast. I think a pack is about a tablespoon, but we are gonna find out, boy, you want yet. About, about a tablespoon, oh, oh, let's cut this And what you wanna do now is um, put in a tablespoon of sugar. All right, so once you put that sugar in, what you want to do is take a wooden spoon and stir it. You take a wooden spoon and you stir it until it's all dissolved. So you just want to stir it good. So I got it all stirred up. What I'm gonna do now is um, put some, some saran wrap over the bowl and let it sit for about five minutes and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but see how frothy that yeast has got? That means it's ready. If it's not looking frothy and bubbly like this, it's not ready. So what you wanna do now, what I have here is two cups of flour. That's two cups of just all-purpose flour. I got me some um, all-purpose flour. I normally use bread flour, but I have none. So all-purpose flour works just fine. So you take that uh, and dump them two uh, cups of flour in there. And you can see my hands are freshly washed. So you just take and you mix that uh, water and that flour together until you make a little soft dough. You, if you gotta put more flour in there, put more flour in there, but you wanna form a little soft dough until it pull away from the bowl. So you just keep uh, incorporating that flour in there. And what I like to do now is add a little salt, a little pinch of salt. Just a pinch. And you can smell that yeast shade. I'm gonna take a little in that same bowl, no need to clean in the bowl, it's just the same bowl you use to mix the dough in. I'm gonna coat my hand with a little um, earl, 
and I'm gonna coat the bowl with a little earl. I'm gonna use more earl if I need to. Then you wanna toss that uh, dough in that bowl after you uh, toss that. After you rub that earl in the bowl, you just toss that um, <clears throat> ball of dough in that earl. All right, now what you're gonna do now is wrap it good with saran wrap. Alright now, what you're doing is you're wrapping it tight with that saran wrap and you're going to let it sit for about 45 minutes here. Yeah? Let it rise for about 45 minutes. Alright y'all, our dough has risen. See how it's almost doubled in size? Now what you want to do is, before I get that out that bowl, you go ahead on and um, you throw some flour on your counter. Or whatever you're gonna uh, go ahead on and make sure you got your hands good and flour. Flour your hands because you're gonna get in there. Alright, so before I get started, what you're gonna do is go ahead on and scrape that flour out on the dough out that uh, bowl. I'm gonna need it a little bit before I go ahead and. Um... Alright, so. What I'm going to do now is halfen it up. Now hope and pray I halfened it evenly, which it look like I didn't. One still look bigger than the other one. I'm going to take a little bit off of here. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is You want them to be about the, the same size when you um bake them. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side and I'm you wash your hands good. Yeah. Can you see that? Push it back a little bit. Now all I did was roll that dough out. I'm gonna show you with the other one too. You roll that dough out into a log. Okay, baby. Right now, is yeah. spray it on the pan. Can you hold the pan for me? Get that pan off the stove right there. This pan with that parchment paper. So, what I got here is a pan that I've just lined with parchment paper. My grandbaby want to help me. So, when you take that loaf and put it on that parchment paper, put the pan back up there. Now let me show you again what you're doing. All right, you're gonna take that dough and you're gonna roll it like a roll it like a sausage. And then you're just gonna roll it out. Now, now what you're gonna do now is now what you're gonna do now is cover this up and let it uh, proof for uh, 45 more minutes. Now you braid the set like I told you, it's not hard at all. See how simple it was to make the dough and stuff. Really, it's just about the time. So you wanna make sure you got just some nice little um, French bread loaves on. Um, right here and then you just let this uh cover this up good with either um plastic wrap or clean towel for another 45 minutes to proof it all right so once this proof i'll be back all right now so while our bread is proofing um i already got my shrimp season is sitting off to the side um right here i got just a mixture of some zataran fish fry and some cornmeal that I lightly um, season because you see I already got my shrimp seasoned. And if you season your cornmeal too much, it's so easy to over salt your shrimp. 
Um, I got my Earl over here um, getting hot and um, just waiting on the bread to proof him because I don't want to uh, wanna uh, fry my shrimp until that bread is on a rack and cooling so that bread could still be warm and them shrimp could still be hot. So once I get, um, once that bread proof, I'll be back. Oh, and um, one more important factor. Before you break, before I put this bread in the oven, I've been having my oven preheated at 455. You want it preheated at 455 and you want to put a pan of water. Oops, sorry about the steam, y'all. Let me figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, see down in there? Uh, I got a pan of water sitting on a, um, let me get a, a, a towel. I got a pan of water sitting on um, just a cookie sheet I use to hold pans. Um, I got a pan of water, and um, so that'll be hot and bubbly. When I put that's gonna help that bread be moist. So um, I just wanted to let y'all let y'all know that's the important fact. Make sure you got a little pan of water already in there. When you preheat your oven, put that pan of water in there to preheat that too. I'll be back. Thank you. All right, y'all. Now my bread has proof for 45 minutes. And guess what? I could have um, stretched this dough out here, y'all, and made it long, but then I risked the chance of making it too skinny. And I don't want it too skinny. When I make my pork I like to fill mine up with shrimp. And if it's too skinny, I can't do that. But if you want to go ahead and elongate your uh, dough, go ahead and do it. And what you could do is make them little um, little baguette little uh, things where you slice, you slice it, and then run it back in the, to in the oven for about 15 minutes and make little... Um, Toast, little toast. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is in the oven. I pre, um, like I told you, preheated my oven at 455. I got somebody helping me hold my phone now. And you're gonna run it in there for 15 minutes, here. Yeah? So I'm gonna go ahead on. Remember, you got your water in there. I'm gonna go ahead on and um, run this in the oven for 15 minutes, and I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And I'll be back. All right, so my grease been um, heating up. So while the bread doing this magic in the oven. We're gonna go ahead on and start frying our shrimp. Now right here, all I did was put that um, Zataran and cornmeal um, mixture in the Ziploc bag. And the reason I use that mixture is because um, that Zataran fish fry got out the flavor I like, but it's a fine, fine uh, cornmeal. And the cornmeal gonna give it that crunch I like. So. All I did was uh, shake my shrimp up in this Ziploc bag, and what I'm gonna do is only drop a few in the skillet at the time, at a time, because if you overcrowd the skillet, it won't fry right. I like my fried hard, but for for TV purposes, I'm afraid to fry them like it's supposed to be fried. And I can't, I definitely can't overload uh, this skillet because it's gone. Woo, catch a fire! Woo. Hopefully, it's out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire down a little bit. You know you don't, you fry your shrimp only but a few minutes. All right, so these are ready to come out. Nice and golden brown like I like them. And I'm gonna put them off on some paper towels.
Yeah, I think that was enough time to let my grease heat up a little bit more and I'm gonna go ahead and drop some moved shrimp and I'll be back. All right, my um, French bread is out the oven. Um, I baked it a little, little long, but it's still gonna be good. I went and ran some butter over the top. Um, so I'm gonna um, come back. I got my last batch of shrimp in the fryer. And after that, I'm gonna come and slice my bread open and um, show y'all how I dress my um, po' boy sandwiches. I'll be back. Slice into it. I'm gonna slice into it this way. It's still nice and hot. Now, I don't like a lot of the, uh, I don't know if you can see that steam or if you can smell it. Oh, ain't nothing like some fresh French bread. All right, so I don't like a lot of dough in my own um, bar, so I just go ahead on and pull a little bit of the dough out. Ooh, hot. Ooh, this is going to be delicious. All right, so now what you want to do is, um, Spray some mayonnaise on there. It's my blue plate. Love my blue plate. And I like a lot of mayonnaise. Each is on. Put, it, um, put the mayonnaise like you like it. Of fried and off to the side. All right, so that's enough mayonnaise for me. I don't know if you can see what that glare. All right, so now what you want to do is pile on, pile on your shrimp. It's about the bread and what you fry your shrimp in. Mm, that make a good po' boy. All right, for now, one second while I wash my hands. Got all my shrimp on now. Mm. It's coming, it's coming. That's my son, he already looking for shrimp. All right, so I done washed my hands, and now we're gonna dress it up. Cause when you order, when you're down here and you order the shrimp, that's what they gonna ask you, how you want it dressed. So we're gonna dress her up like this here. We're gonna put a little frilly skirt on her. This her little frilly skirt. And I love a cute frilly skirt. And these are her, this is her halter top, some tomatoes. And these are her, oh, I want this one. And these are a pair of bad bleep, bleep, bleep shoes. Well, this is how you dress up a poor boy, but it ain't finished yet now. I'm putting her shoes on. She all she ain't finished on. She all she ain't finished dressing up now. You know, a lady ain't really finished until she put on her makeup. Some Louisiana hot sauce. And I guess what I really wanted to do, if you want to switch it up a little bit, after you fry your shrimp, toss them in some buffalo wing sauce and dress it just like this. Delicious. All right, so now she got a, she got a foundation on. Now we got to put on her rouge. Oh, no, we're going to be rouge. Um, let's just say red lipstick. We're going to put a red lipstick on. I shake it up, but oh, well. How does that look to y'all? I'm gonna tell y'all how it tastes in a minute. But look at that. I wish I could. Let's see. I wish I had a smell of phone. Look at that. That's a good old shrimp pull boy on your own homemade fresh bread. Now I'm gonna close this up for you. 
You take your knife because you know you're gonna pile it up with some shrimp, but that's a good pull boy. Shrimp, but that's a good pull boy. That's what you want. You know, oops, let's get that, that shoe back on. You know, you sometimes you lose your shoe. And work, work with me now, y'all. I piled it up, but you just make sure you get all that good stuff on in there, like this. All right? And then you just cut this thing on in half. That's a lot. Me and my son gonna split this, because I'm definitely not gonna eat all of it. sit down with y'all and have a bite of this uh let me see if I can raise it up and get y'all to see let y'all have a bite of this good uh shrimp pull bar I'm gonna take a good picture of it I'll be back hey y'all let me apologize I always say I'm gonna sit down and have a bite with y'all but we so greedy over here we always eat the food before I can even sit down and, and record, so I'm sorry. I'm going to get better at that, I promise. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and if you go ahead on and make your own French bread, leave a comment down below for me. And if you liked it, go ahead and um, subscribe, hit the like bucket button, and ring my bell.